Understanding Old Acquaintances, A Guide to English Phrases. Hello everyone and welcome to today's English learning session. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English phrases, specifically the term old acquaintances. Understanding such phrases is crucial as they enrich your language skills and help you grasp the nuances of English. So, let's get started and explore what old acquaintances really means. Old acquaintances refers to people one has known for a long time but not in close friendship. The key here is the blend of familiarity and distance. These are individuals you may have interacted with in the past, like schoolmates or former colleagues, but with whom you haven't developed a deep, personal relationship. How and when do we use this phrase? Old acquaintances is often used in conversations to refer to people from one's past, especially when recounting old times or memories. For example, at the reunion, I ran into several old acquaintances from high school. I received a holiday card from an old acquaintance I met during my first job. These examples show how the phrase smoothly fits into everyday conversation, adding a layer of specificity about the nature of past relationships. It's important to distinguish old acquaintances from similar phrases like old friends or long lost friends. While old friends implies a lasting, close friendship, old acquaintances lacks this depth of personal connection. Understanding these subtle differences is key to mastering English nuances. The phrase old acquaintances is famously used in the song Auld Lang Syne, traditionally sung during New Year's Eve celebrations. This song reminisces about old times, often interpreted as a nod to maintaining old friendships. However, the term can also refer to the broader concept of remembering people from our past. And that wraps up our exploration of old acquaintances. I hope this session has shed light on this interesting English phrase and its usage in everyday language. Remember, language is not just about words, but the stories and relationships they depict. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll be using phrases like old acquaintances with ease and confidence. See you in our next lesson.